Right there, thanks. Well, we continue our year in review now, looking back at some of the top stories from 2011. Yesterday, we recapped the most popular stories from our website in March and April. Today, Haley Smith takes us back to May and June, a pair of months when the stories of our animal friends top the charts. The month of May was a rare sighting in Chubbuck that had police and schools on alert after a mountain lion was spotted just outside a family's home. Miner said she had just returned to her home from Bear Lake, went down to the basement and saw something lurking outside her window in the small space underneath her porch. Miner quickly snapped a picture of the cat. The cat was hissing back at her and scratching at the window. I think I'll be a little more nervous about walking out around the sheds for a little while until they catch it. As a precaution, administrators with the Pocatello and Chubbuck School District opted to keep Chubbuck Elementary students in school until their parents could pick them up. Also in May was the tragic murder and suicide in Ammon that left five people dead. According to the Bonneville County Sheriff's Office, Galen Laramo drove from Iowa and stayed at the Armitel Inn in Ammon. In the early morning hours of May 13th, Laramo parked his car in front of the house of his ex-partner, Michelle Kern, and entered the residence through a back door that led into the master bedroom. Once inside the home, Laramo fired eight shots with a 45 caliber handgun, killing Michelle, their two children, as well as Michelle's sister, Melinda. Laramo then poured gasoline into the basement and set it on fire before going back to the master bedroom where he shot himself. Moving on to June was an unlikely rescue at the Pocatello Zoo when a call of distress was answered by a call of the wild. It was a close call for a little furry creature taking a dip, but thankfully there was a lifeguard on duty. Shooter, a four-year-old elk at the Pocatello Zoo, was in the right place at the right time. For 15 minutes, Shooter circled the tank. After Shooter was able to position his antlers and reach into the water, he grabbed the marmot out and set him on the ground and began nudging him with his hoof. After a little time in the sun catching his breath, the rescued marmot scampered home. The water tank at the zoo has now been modified to prevent other wild marmots from falling in and not being able to get out. And finishing up the month of June, it's a story we've been following for almost five years. The Rexburg Snake House, you recall this five-bedroom home is infested with gardener snakes. These reptiles slide through the yard, the crawl space, the ceilings, and even through the walls and across the floors. They're harmless, but there are thousands of them. The foreclosed home is currently owned by J.P. Morgan Chase. A spokeswoman for the bank says they have contracted to have the snakes trapped and released. That contractor also plans to seal the foundation and install a barrier around it to help prevent future access. These are just some of the remedies as the bank tries to sell this home. They have even listed it at $66,000 below market value. Haley Smith, KPVI News 6. By the way, that elk story was the most popular on our website for the entire year. It's even still getting some play out there in the uh, cyber world. Tomorrow we'll have a review of the top headlines from July and August.